assembling a 7mm, 10mm, 20mm, and 30mm generator probe. Slide the lower bearing onto the rotor shaft. Attach the rotor knife to the rotor shaft by screwing it together until tight. Hand tighten it only. Insert the rotor shaft into the end of the tube and collar assembly. Then push the rotor knife up into the tube and collar assembly until it cannot go any further. This will put the lower bearing into its proper place. The rotor shaft should stick out through the upper bearing located in the top of the tube and collar assembly. While pushing against the rotor knife, place the PTFE washer over the end of the rotor shaft and put the rotor shaft collar assembly onto the rotor shaft. Make note of the flattened portion and align it with the set screw. While holding the rotor knife, align the set screw onto the side of the rotor shaft collar and the flat end on the rotor shaft so they are facing each other. Once lined up with one another, tighten the set screw against the flat end of the rotor sh shaft using the hex wrench and the screwdriver tool or a separate hex wrench. Insert the quarter inch hex key into the end of the rotor shaft collar and insert the screwdriver end into the rotor knife. Turn the hex wrench clockwise to confirm it's tight. Over tightening of the rotor knife onto the rotor shaft can result in breaking of the rotor shaft and or distorting of the rotor knife. At this point, your generator probe should spin freely 